Your financial problems begin when you buy things that you shouldn't buy. For example, I have a friend who's always on the lookout for discounted items. And when he finds one, he thinks he has to buy immediately without thinking if he actually needs the item. The problem with that is, he ends up with a lot of stuff he doesn't need, just sitting in his garage. And the money spent on these items, it is simply gone. Your money is valuable because you've worked so hard for it. Don't give up on it so easily by spending it on things that aren't necessary. And you might believe that every purchase you make is necessary, but in reality, that's not the case. Let's talk about 7 things you shouldn't buy if you want to get rich. First on our list, we have luxury cars. I get it, everyone wants a fancy car that grabs people's attention. But beyond gaining attention, you don't really need it. Some automobile models are so expensive that they can put a serious burden on your wallet every single month. But I am not just talking about their price. Fancy cars continue to cost you a lot of money after buying it. You will spend more on gas and insurance than you would with a regular car. And unexpected issues will arise, requiring you to spend a lot of money on repairs. More importantly, it will also consume a lot of your time as you deal with car problems, the time that could be used more productively. Not to mention the stress that comes with these problems. I believe it is the number one killer of financial freedom. So stay away from it. Okay, let's talk about speculative investments. These type of investments can be tempting, especially if you want to accelerate wealth creation through high-risk high-reward ventures. While they may offer huge returns, you should know that you likely lose all of your money because of the risky nature of these investments. When it comes to these types of investments, people often lose their rationality, thinking they will be the one to profit among the millions who have invested in the same speculative asset. We often hear about the minority of winners who make ridiculous amounts of money from these types of investments, while ignoring the majority of people who lost it all. I believe it's best to focus on long-term wealth creation rather than falling into these kinds of traps, which can completely destroy your wealth building journey. Technically, it's not an everyday purchase. But at some point, many of you will face that decision. I'm talking about weddings, especially extravagant ones. Let's face it, we all love a good celebration. It's a time when family and friends gather, and love is celebrated. And it's only natural that you'd want your special day to be memorable. But I've heard countless stories of couples falling in love, getting married, and having an astonishing wedding, only to end up divorced because of the crippling debt they incurred. The idea of taking loans and spending years paying for a single celebration isn't a smart move. Yes, I get it. You don't get married every day, and you want your wedding day to be unforgettable. But consider the long-term consequences. It doesn't make sense to throw an extravagant party that lasts for a single night, only to spend years paying for it. So, think wisely about your wedding. I know, eating out is great. Especially if you have a busy life, and you don't want to deal with the hassle of preparing food and dishes. And I think there is nothing wrong with doing it occasionally. But if it becomes a habit, eating out will be a huge cost over time. If you're on a budget or trying to save money, dining at restaurants will ruin all of your financial plans. I made the same mistake in the past, and believe me, paying twice or maybe three times more for a meal isn't a sensible thing. I am not even talking about the extra calories you will consume when you dine out, because when we eat out, we probably choose unhealthy options. This leads to weight gain and health problems if you're not careful. You are not only spending more, but you're also potentially compromising your health. So, next time you're about to order that pizza, take a moment to pause and think twice. Another item on our list is lottery tickets. You might find this one a bit confusing as you're wondering how a lottery ticket could impact your budget. But believe me, it can have a significant impact. People often don't stop at just one lottery ticket. They end up buying many because they want to increase their chances of winning. If they paused for a moment to think, they would quickly realize how irrational to buy those tickets. They lose their rationality because the allure of the potential large prize is too strong to resist, and they can't help but dream about hitting that jackpot. I strongly advise against buying those tickets, not only because the money spent on them will be lost, but also because buying lottery tickets can have a negative impact on your mindset. You become accustomed to the idea that something magical will happen, and it will miraculously solve all your financial problems. After developing a habit of buying lottery tickets, 
you start to believe that hard work and dedication are no longer necessary, as you'll hit the jackpot anyway. But the reality is that it's never going to happen. I never buy lottery tickets, not even for fun, and I strongly advise you to do the same. Even though it sounds a bit extreme, believe me, it's the only way to protect not just your wallet but also your mindset. Perhaps you haven't considered it as a purchase but I believe it has to be in this list. Low interest savings account something that you should stay away from, because it could actually stop you from earning more money. Worse yet, in many cases, the money you have sitting in savings not only won't grow much, but will actually end up losing value due to inflation, which is the rising price of goods and services. You might be thinking that it's a safe place to store your money and you can take it out whenever needed. But it's not the best place to invest if you want your money to grow. There are way more better alternatives to traditional savings accounts. If you need your money soon, sure, you should keep it in savings account because you won't be chasing generous returns. You shouldn't take chances with funds you might have to access within a short time period. But if you're investing for the long term, it's a better choice to go for a brokerage account and invest your funds. You can pick individual stocks or keep it simple by investing your money in an exchange-traded fund. ETFs track a particular index or an assets and they can be purchased or sold on a stock exchange the same way that a regular stock can. So, you have plenty of choices. If you don't need your money in the short term, avoid low interest savings accounts. The final item on our list is designer clothes. I believe it is important dressing well since people often form their first impressions based on your appearance. But there is a difference between wasting all of your hard-earned money on designer clothes that will last one season and dressing well. Of course, you shouldn't compromise on quality because if you do, you'll likely end up paying much more in the long run compared to investing in a quality clothes from the beginning. But you can easily find the high quality without wasting your money on some fancy designer clothes. Even the wealthiest people don't waste their money on designer clothes, they often choose more budget-friendly options. You might be asking, so what do rich people wear? Many choose what to wear depending on the situation. For instance, when they have important events to attend, they'll dress up and look fancy. But when there's no need to dress up, they often keep it simple and casual. So, I advise you to follow what the rich people do in this regard because many of them do not spend their money on designer clothes, and there's a good reason for it. For example, Billionaire Mark Zuckerberg has been seen repeatedly wearing plain t-shirts anyone can buy for around $15. Rather than waste his billions on high-end brands unnecessarily, he prefers to remain comfortable. That's it guys, we looked at 7 things you should avoid buying, but don't forget that there are plenty more than these items. I just want you to realize how valuable your money is. Making money is indeed important, I accept that, but equally important is keeping the money you earn.